few days ago, I received a shipment of custom minifigures, which will be put into a mock that is slowly chugging along behind the scenes. It's the one that I built the AV7 turret for, and as I do want to revisit that and improve the turret, I am making improvements as we speak. There's a video coming out in like a week or two, and then I've got another big model to build for it, and then I've got to put together the actual mock itself. So it's going to be a while before you see the completed model. I thought I'd take the time today and go through each of these minifigures in greater detail, giving us enough time down the road to talk about the mock itself rather than the minifigures. You can always come back and watch this again when that mock is built and show you why I purchased each of them, the modifications I will be making to make them the best minifigures and First off, why I bought these and didn't go back and buy the old Lego minifigures. Although you have already seen Ahsoka yesterday, you won't have seen her with the LED lightsabers, which we'll be plugging in in just a second, because this Ahsoka minifigure is much more detailed than the original one made by Lego. And I also like the design of the torso and legs, because you'll see it's technically not accurate to whatever Ahsoka wears when we are first introduced and is almost a mismatch of the two costumes and I much prefer having this minifigure than trying to pay however much the old one is worth. I'll try to find the prices as accurately as I can according to Brickset at the time of recording this video. The only complaint I can have about this minifigure is the skin tone of Ahsoka. I have here the recent Season 7, I don't think I can say this is recent anymore, but the latest Clone Wars Ahsoka in this Season 7 version, and you can see it is definitely a more orange compared to, well, I guess this is just a dark orange, which definitely in shady parts of the show matches Ahsoka's skin tone, but I do prefer this brighter orange. I think if we could get a middle ground and Lego just invent a new colour, Call it Ahsoka and that would be perfect. All the extra detail we get compared to, I'm picking Yoda here because not only is he in the thumbnail, so it makes sense he shows up in the video, but also just to show that you get that front torso printing and for Ahsoka we probably would have got back, but we don't get any arm printing. On short and midi legs, you don't get any printing. I think they've started dual and triple molding them for Harry Potter, but we still don't get any printing on them, and I don't think an Ahsoka minifigure would be any different. So the fact we have 360 degree, yes, 360 degree, the back of the legs is also printed, and I just think that is something that separates the customs from the official Lego minifigures. But that's enough of Ahsoka, let's move on to the next minifigure. Or shall I say, droid as i have also picked up a tactical droid these are worth more than they should be for the official lego versions but i have picked up this custom which as you can see the detail is pretty good it might not be up to lego standards if i got a microscope out and try to find any little gaps in it but to the naked eye i'm sure you might be able to tell the difference but you can also tell that this is a really good droid minifigure you've got the gray molding it looks like on the torso though i think that should be printed and also the little logo on the chest which hopefully you can just about see. And the best part about this droid is not only the price I paid for it, which was much, much lower than the Lego resale price, but I also ended up getting two of them. So if anything happens to one of them, because the droids do have quite fragile elements, or if I want a second one on the battlefield or for another mock, I've got the luxury of having a second one to hand, which is not something you'll get if you try to buy it, the official Lego version. Also, because I am playing with these, I would rather use and break customs. If I had an official one and cracked it whilst building a mark, I'm sure no Lego collectors are gonna be very pleased, but that is only minifigure two. We've got a whole bunch of them here. Our next one is the Jedi General himself, Anakin Skywalker. Another 360 degree printed minifigure. And as you can see, they attach to Lego studs just as good as any other minifigure, but 360 printing really sets them aside from any version of Anakin we have got so far. In fact, you've also got that Jedi symbol on his left shoulder. Hopefully the minifigures aren't too glary in this video and you can see just about all the detail. I also have the official Lego version here, which you can see is 
it just doesn't come close to that Anakin Skywalker. The hairpiece is slightly different to the official Lego version. They have grouped up the hair a bit differently to how Lego have done. So it's nice to see them not trying to duplicate the Lego mold. And I definitely prefer the style of hair to all the Clone Wars faces we got at the time with Lego. And in this instance, I think the headpiece on Anakin is good enough, which is not something I can say about this Kenobi minifigure. I think it's something about the color of the beard that just doesn't look perfect. And Kenobi's got to look perfect, but that arm printing again is really, really cool. And just like Anakin, he has that Jedi logo on his left arm. And something I didn't show you with Anakin, which would be easier to see with Kenobi, is they've actually printed the gap between his robes on the left hand side. You have to really pay attention in Clone Wars to notice details like this. So I really like all the little details they have included with Kenobi. But if you didn't want the head and hair piece, because again, the hair piece is different to Legos. You've got that little mold mark on the top. You can grab one of your official Lego Kenobi minifigures and take the head and hair off this. And now we have the perfect version of Kenobi. I really don't think it gets any better than this. Well, besides Lego coming out with a minifigure themselves. And if you are adding Lego to non-Lego brands, just remember what you've added where to save any confusion, jot it down or make a mental note at least, just so you remember to take Kenobi's head back after you've done building. The next custom we have is Captain Rex. You're starting to see a trend. I'm getting all the main characters here from the Clone Wars because Lego have made some shiny phase one clone troopers. They have made Rex and characters like Anakin and Kenobi, but not for so long. Whereas we have updated models of the others. The helmet pops off just about as easily as Legos, which is really nice because we will be using that again in a second. But you'll notice that the accessories here aren't quite up to scratch with what Lego have made, specifically the color of them. They are a dark bluish gray almost. So if you wanted to swap it out, there are other colors available. But if you wanted a more updated look for Rex, you could always grab the phase two version in the new Captain Rex Y-Wing. Remove the helmet off this model. Again, it's just as easy as the custom, if not easier. And place Rex's helmet on his phase two torso. In terms of accuracy, we are playing around a little bit, but I think those arm and leg details really do work. You could even take them and add them to the torso. Though, as far as arms and torsos and legs with hips, I'd recommend keeping Lego with Lego and customs with customs. Now, you might be thinking this Cody is not a custom minifigure. This is the official Lego version. I'm not trying to fool you in any way, but I do have a regular phase one clone that I've given the orange visor to. And if we were to swap around the helmets, it's just that easy to make a phase one Manda Cody. And I've seen customs selling the helmet as well with a yellow stripe. You could always just pen on, I guess it's more of an orange stripe on top, or even get away with using the pilot's helmet, which is a very old phase one minifigure you might have in your collection. But personally, I think the plain phase one helmet is good enough with that visor and looks great as a phase one commander Cody. And I think this is probably the reason I also struggle to find anyone selling a phase one Cody minifigure. And last but not least, we have Sassy Tin, but I'm not using this as a Sassy Tin minifigure. In fact, I'm not sure I'll be using this in the mock at all, perhaps somewhere in the background. But before we build the custom minifigure, you may know my official Sassy Tin is missing that headpiece. So what I can do is take the headpiece off this minifigure whilst I am still looking for it and add it to Sassy Tin just to make it look a little better in my display and it's a lot more recognizable as the Jedi Master. For the rest of this minifigure we will just be popping off the head because you might have remembered in my pirate snub review I said these heads that we get for the pirates would be perfect for I'm a gun D and that is exactly what we're doing by taking the head off this custom sassy tin and replacing it with the head of one of the pirates. I chose the pilot because Vane will be showing up in Skeleton Crew like I predicted. This 
Hyla is just another unnamed minifigure and you can swap it out for any head, including just using the sassy tin one we got from that minifigure. So here we have our custom I'm a Gun D and this is a lot better than getting rid of sassy tin and Evan Piel in my collection just to make this one minifigure. Now I can display all three on my display, so keep an eye out for them in the next short. As promised, here is Ahsoka Tano with those LED lightsabers. I really do like these. These are gonna be included in all of my mocks with Jedis going forward. And I really like lights in general. So you might even see them being used in a few other sets down the line. It should be no surprise that Anakin also looks good, but I think because of the dark robes on this Anakin minifigure and the fact the lightsaber only really lights up the face, it is quite menacing as well as really awesome that these LED lightsabers exist in the first place. And best till last for General Kenobi. I think the headpiece definitely looks a little bit better in the dark, but once again, these LED lightsabers and these custom minifigures can be bought through Filoni clones and I'll leave a video on the end screen if you want to check out more. He even has a website if you don't want to purchase through whatnot. Again, not a sponsor, I just really love these customs. Let me know what you think of these custom minifigures down in the comments and again check out both videos on screen now. I hope you're as excited for this mock as I am. I cannot wait to show off the finished model. But first, I'll have to build it. Thank you so much for watching, and may the bricks be with you always.